It's rich. Welcome to another episode of Airquake Whiskey Studies, and in this video, I'm going to do a review of the Teeling 14 year old single malt Irish whiskey aged in Pedro Jimenez cast. But before getting into this whiskey, here is a little bit about Pedro Jimenez. Pedro Jimenez, also known as PX, is the name of a white Spanish wine grape variety grown in several Spanish wine regions, but most notably in the Denominacion de Origin, or DO, of Montilla Morelos. Pedro Jimenez is used to produce a varietal wine, an intensely sweet, dark, dessert-style sherry, or used to add sweetness to other sherry wines. It is made by drying the grapes under the hot sun, concentrating the sweetness similar to straw wine production. The dried grapes are then used to create a thick black liquid that is fortified and aged in a solera. So I did a whole video series on sherry and cherry cast finished whiskeys in which I talked about Fino, Manzanilla, Oloroso, uh, Amontillado, Palo Cantado, and Pedro Jimenez. So if you want to learn more about sherry and sherry cast finished whiskeys, I'll put a link to that series at the end of this video. So at the end of that series, I did two whiskeys, aged in Pedro Jimenez cast, but both of them were American bourbons. This time we're getting into an Irish whiskey. Now, if you want to learn more about Pedro Jimenez, Nothing better than actually buying a bottle of Pedro Jimenez. So I want to recommend this Osborne Pedro Jimenez, which is very affordable. It's made from 100% Pedro Jimenez. It is very sweet. It's bottled at 17% alcohol by volume and sells for anywhere between $20 and $22. It's widely available and comes with a screw cop. Uh, you can open it and leave it open for you know six months to a year or more than that. It's not going to go bad right away. Now, it is a very, very intensely, uh, almost syrupy, sweet uh, wine. I don't know too many people who drink this neat, but it is something you can pair really well with a dessert, or even better, try this whiskey. The Teeling 14-year-old single malt Irish whiskey is made from 100% malted barley, aged 12 years in experiment cast, two years in Pedro Jimenez cast. It is non-chill filtered, has natural color, bottled at 54.3% alcohol by volume, and sold for about $105. So this whiskey is very, very, very rich. It is very, very intense. On the nose, I get dried black fruit notes, plums, raisins, figs, but I also get a nice uh, dark chocolate fudge character as well. Oh, fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. I said the word, the big one, the queen mother of dirty words, the F dash 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 word. What did you say? Also get some vanilla and some really nice spice, uh, perhaps a little bit of cinnamon, um, vanilla, and baking spices. It definitely smells like fudge or brownies coming right out of the oven. You know what your son just said? No. What? I'll tell you what he said. Ready? On the palate, hmm, wow, it's 54 plus percent alcohol by volume, and so it packs some weight there. It is intensely flavored. It's sweet all the way through from the front into the middle into the finish. Up front, you get the dried black fruit notes, fig, dates, raisins, dried plums. And then it kicks into this chocolate and vanilla character about the middle. And then the spice kicks in about three quarters of the way back. And what lingers is a combination of all those. So I like the development on the whiskey. I like the intensity of the whiskey. It has a lot of breath. It has a lot of depth. It's a really, really, really nice whiskey. Now, this is not an everyday sipper, at least not for me. For me, this is a dessert whiskey that you're gonna to wanna to have on special occasions. When perhaps after dinner, you might want say fudge, brownies, or some really dark chocolate ice cream or Rocky Road ice cream. Hmm, mm -mm -mm. And this whiskey does really, really well on ice. It'll open up and uh, become a little less intense perhaps with a little bit of water on it as well but I love it on ice. So what would I give it in terms of a score? I'm gonna go a solid 92 points 
an absolutely fantastic whiskey, but it is a limited release. Uh, they only made 2,020 bottles. This is bottle number five, and it's currently, as far as I know, only available here in the United States and only through Total Wine and more. However, given the profile of this whiskey, if you can find other releases of Teeling in a Pedro Menes cast, I would say definitely worth checking out. Now, Teeling Distillery has only been around since 2015. How can they have a 14 year old whiskey if they've only been around since 2015? Uh, the parent distillery is Cooley Distillery, founded by their father, the owner's father. So when uh, they got bought out by Jim Beam, um, they were able to take with them a number of casks, which are going into their older whiskey. So uh, if you're over in Ireland or if you hunt around, you can actually find older tealings that are not part of the core range, uh, that are basically uh, an inheritance of whiskeys that they brought with them uh, when they left to, uh, Cooley or when they got bought out uh, and started Teeling Distillery. This is absolutely fantastic, definitely worth uh, checking out. Alrighty, uh, if you like watching my videos, if not yet subscribed, I ask that you subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when I go live. And if you are one of my patrons, I want to thank you very much for supporting this channel. Until next time, Slanji Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.